What's the deal, YouTube? This is Sam Mac Boxing coming with my debut video, and I got some boxing to talk about today. The shock of the world just went down. Anthony Joshua has just lost the unified heavyweight IBF, WBA, and WBO championship titles in New York City tonight. And what do you AJ protectors have to say now? Y'all talked all of that shit talking about Deontay Wilder was ducking AJ and Wilder didn't want the fight. Now look at what happened. AJ got dropped four times. Four times by a guy that got completely written off by the public because he's short and he's pudgy and he doesn't have the typical look of a boxer it isn't big and muscular like anthony fucking joshua is but not nah, but you aj protectors you guys were all oh he at deontay wilder and he's dunking anthony joshua fuck out of here i don't want to hear shit i don't want to hear nothing from you aj protectors because you y'all ain't got shit to say now this is, is this your king is this your king because anthony joshua just got his ass whooped in that ring tonight and I don't care what you AJ protectors have to say. I don't want to hear y'all say shit about Deontay Wilder no more. Because if Wilder would have fought Anthony Joshua tonight, Wilder would have washed Anthony Joshua. And that's a fact. And there's nothing that any of these AJ protectors or any of these Eddie Hearn protectors can say to even defend this. Anthony Joshua got exposed in that ring tonight. And this is why he didn't want no smoke with Deontay Wilder. This is why he didn't want no smoke with Tyson Fury. And this is why he didn't want no smoke with Luis Ortiz. So, Anthony Joshua's only options at this point, he's going to have to either rematch Ruiz because he got this ass whooped in this fight. Or he's going to probably take some time off. You know, think about some things and see if he wants to continue on to keep on with his career. But at this point, you know, he's going to have to run that back. But Ruiz just completely dominant performance. You know, he, he, he was confident. He let his hands go. You know, he walked AJ down. He wasn't, he wasn't scared of AJ at all. You know, he got dropped in the third round with the left hook by AJ, but got right back up and came back and dropped AJ himself. Had AJ wobbly, dropped him a second time in, in the third round. He ended up getting saved. Actually, he got he ended up getting saved by the at the end of the third. You know, he got up at the eight count and he came out shaky. You know, at the start of the fourth round, you know, Ruiz kept you know, his confidence started to grow as the fourth round proceeded and he started to walk him down. AJ, you know, you noticed the start. You started to notice that AJ had started to let his hands go a lot less in the fourth round. When he went to the to his corner after the fourth, he asked his trainer, you know, what shot put him down. Like he didn't know, he didn't even know of what shot or what punch put him down. So that right there really just showed that, you know, he was in trouble. He continued on. AJ Ruiz continued to walk him down. AJ started to throw less. You know, coming out into the sixth round, AJ started to just try to start out strong, try to work the body. And Ruiz, he just kept coming for him. Then he ended up, you no, know, towards the third, ended up dropping him a third time in the seventh. You know, he had him towards the corner, started flurrying and throwing bombs on him, dropped him again. And then the very last time, the fourth time, AJ got dropped. He went to his corner. He spit out his mouthpiece and stood there. The ref asked him if he wanted to continue, then waved it off. But you could tell after that fourth knockdown, Anthony Joshua was gassed out. Like he he didn't want to fight no more. And this whole matchroom boxing hype train with Eddie Hearn and this whole UK invasion, that's over now. There's, there's nothing that any of these matchroom supporters, any of these AJ protectors, there's nothing that y'all can say to come back from this. He didn't want no smoke with Wilder, and this, and he just got exposed in this ring tonight. But you know, I'm going to go ahead and you know, continue to keep releasing content. You know, I'm new to this YouTube game, so I hope you guys like my review of this fight. Like, comment, and subscribe. It's your man Sam Mac Boxing TV. Until next time, peace.